hello, hello, and good vibes. I am going to just show you kind of today what it is that I do on a day to day basis with my makeup. Um, it's not all glitz and glamour. You don't have to be like an extreme makeup artist to love to have a few good makeup products in your back pocket, um, which makes unique great. It's for like the everyday woman. It has all sorts of products for all sorts of people, all sorts of skin types. Hello, hello, girl. How you doing? Saying hi to all the people popping on now. Hello, hello. I said I was going to go live more. So here I am. I'm going live more. Even if it's only like once a week, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be here. We're going to do stuff together. Okay. <laughs> so I do a lot of reels and pre-recorded stuff, but I feel like these lives are kind of where like you realize I'm a real human being, you know, we're all just real people out here doing this. Um, so these are the eye masks that you see on here. I use these a lot. I love these things because they have ingredients in them that help immediately and over time. So like you're going to see instant results. They're going to brighten and tighten and kind of like add that hydration to your skin. But over time, they're also going to help diminish some fine lines and wrinkles. They're going to help with dark circles. So these are definitely something in my everyday routine. You can get them on subscription, just like the collagen. If you had to choose, I would almost say go with the collagen because the collagen is amazing. It helps hold all that moisture in your skin in a natural way. I mean, these are pretty natural too, but I mean, um, <laughs> they, uh, the collagen is just something that will help all your skin, hair, nails, joints, everything all over time. But if you can get both, get both because they are both amazing. And my latest obsessions, they are both available at a discount when you do subscriptions. So throwing that in there. But everyday makeup, very simple. I don't want to overwhelm you with like, all the glitz and glamour today. I'm just showing you genuinely. I'm a country girl. I just, I'm not glamorous every day, okay? Like, you don't have to be, like, super glam every day. Although, Halloween's coming, and we're gonna do some fun stuff. I love Halloween. When it comes time to do makeup, that's why I start pulling out all the fun looks, because it's Halloween. You got to. <laughs> so, um, primer, I prime no matter, actually, I haven't even put any moisturizer on, so I'm gonna put some moisturizer on real quick. Moisturizer is, like, the most important thing in the world, basically. Um, I use the custom skincare option that Unique has. I love it because you can choose your boosters depending on what you need for your skin. There are like thousands of combinations of possibilities with our skincare. So if you have sensitive skin, don't panic. There are tons of options. If you want help with blemishes, there's that option. If you want help with environmental protection, there's that. If you want help with fine lines and wrinkles, brightening, tightening, all that stuff, there's all of that. Mine has the Enviro Shield, which helps with um, protecting your environment. I'm in the sun a lot. I live at the beach. It gets extreme here. <laughs> Crazy salt air all the time. Um, I have the calming one because I do have a little bit sensitive skin. As you can tell, I have a few blemishes. Um, I can break out easy sometimes. So be, gentle skincare is really important for me. And then time correcting. I hit 40 this year. I'm ready for all those ingredients to help with that. So I got a little bit of each. You can pick up to three boosters in your moisturizer. The face wash is exactly the same. You pick your boosters, what you want to help with whatever your things are. So there's like there's multiple. Actually, I have a whole YouTube video on the custom skincare. If the custom skincare is something you are interested in, I also have a link um, on my profile, just sparkleandgrow.com. It's my main website with all my things that I do, but I also take, there's a button on there that will take you directly to the skincare quiz if you want to find out what things would be best for your skin as well. So, all right, back to primer, because primer is necessary. It is like, Oh, oh my gosh. It, all you girls that buy foundations without primers, you have no clue what your foundation could be doing, okay? So primer is what's going to help kind of fill in all those fine lines and wrinkles, smooth out your skin, make your makeup lay nicer on your skin, but also out of your pores. Um, you don't want your makeup like falling down into your pores. Not only is it better for your skin to have your makeup up out of your pores, but Unless you have like, oh, oh my gosh, unless you have um, like our serum foundation where the serum, like your foundation is in the skin, 
I love our serum foundation, but that's actually probably not the one that I'm going to show you today because I wear our serum foundation more like when I'm getting dressed up and things because it ha it's really nice and buildable. I can get that nice full coverage with, um, with like just like a serum base and it feels so nice in my skin. Um, but what I've been using lately is actually the powder foundation, mostly because it's been summer. Actually, I feel like as my skin starts drying out towards December, I do usually kind of swap over to the serum foundation. So I use the powder more in the summer and the serum more in the winter just because your skin gets more dry in the winter. Um, but both my favorite foundations today, I'm going to show you the powder because I'm still kind of on the powder. Our powder is not a dry powder. Powder, which makes it really nice if you are somebody who is worried about powder settling in your skin because the powder in the, that we use for our foundation has shea butter in it so it is a hydrating powder it's crazy and hyaluronic acid um i think it's technically sodium hyaluronary <laughs> i cannot say the words but it's a form of hyaluronic acid so it's similar same same family does the same thing holds hydration in your skin. Um, so I feel like it makes the powder act totally different. But let's cover up some blemishes before we put the powder foundation on. Um, you can do over or under. I don't feel like there's huge rules. It kind of depends on what products you're using. So because I'm using a powder foundation today, I'm going to be putting a my concealer underneath because it's really hard to put a liquid um, concealer on top of a powder. So you want to put the liquid underneath if you're using a powder foundation. With the serum foundation, I actually like putting the foundation on first and then finding which blemishes weren't covered with the foundation to minimize how much concealer I am using. So it can it just can depend on the actual product as to whether you do it under or over. There's no right or wrong way makeup is like art, you know. I use two different concealers. I use Organza and I use Scarlet. So Scarlet's a little too light for me, but I use it for under my eyes to brighten under my eyes. Um, the Organza is technically my color, although with the powder foundation, I do use one darker. So Organza is like my exact match for my skin tone. So that's what I use for blemishes because I don't want to make it anything but the same color of my skin on there. Um, and then I just kind of dot them on. A little tiny bit goes a long ways. I will warn you with this concealer, okay? It has that perfect, it's a liquid concealer, but you know how some liquids are so liquidy, they just kind of blend into your skin and you're like, what was the point of that? I would have just used my foundation. So this one has a little bit of tack to it. So it's got some stickiness, but in a good way to where it like stays put where it's supposed to go, you know, and it doesn't move around your skin. It doesn't blend in too much. Um, perfect amount of coverage, but it's not so tacky that it stays on the surface of your skin and like a blotchy. I've had like really sticky ones where it's like, oh, come on, like you can't blend it at all. This one's like the perfect balance. All right. So this is Scarlet. So it's a little bit lighter. I put most of my concealer right in the corner of my eye and then maybe a little dot out there to help blend it out, but no more than this. Actually, I'm wondering if I just put too much on there because I'm telling you, a little bit goes a long way with our concealer. So there's a couple different options. Like with my, these ones on my blemishes, I really like this brush a lot. It is the powder concealer brush. And so what you do is you just take this little powder end and I literally just push it on there and kind of spin it, but I'm not like rubbing it around. I'm putting it there and not moving it. And then I do this and it kind of pushes it into my skin right on that blemish. And then I'll kind of fan it out. Okay. Same thing here. Fan it out. Then I'll kind of blotch it out. But you can still go through with your sponge too if I'm kind of a sponge girl mostly, but when it comes to like having like a hardcore blemish, do you see how well that covered it up too, by the way? Um, our concealer also has caffeine in it, hyaluronic acid as well. We put that stuff in everything, I swear, um, which I love because I live in a zone um, that is completely, the air here is so wet that it works really well. It works the best in 
areas where there is a lot of moisture content in the air because sodium hyal I can't even say it. I'm just going to say hyaluronic acid because it's a little bit easier than sodium hyaluronate or whatever. <laughs> but it's a it's a healthy ingredient even though it's a hard to pronounce ingredient and a lot of times we connect hard to pronounce ingredients as something that's not healthy. But in this case it is healthy and it helps keep the moisture in your skin. It attracts moisture to the product itself. So it'll actually pull moisture from the air and put it in your skin. Okay. So I love that brush for that. I do kind you can kind of still go through. I'm still going to put my foundation on. So I'm not worrying as much about blending, but it is good to still blend. So if you got one of these little brushes or I don't know, I have like a, a ton of these brushes from a million companies, not brushes, sponges. This one's from Yensa. But I do have the unique one, too, that I also use. I actually, like, the unique one comes with a set of two, and it comes with a big one and a little one, which is nice. They're really firm at first, okay? But once you... I actually kind of sometimes like that better because it presses the product better and absorbs your product into the sponge less. So the really spongy, airy ones, like, feel soft and nice, but really they don't work as well because they're absorbing your product. So although you get want to get them wet and squeeze them out before you use them so that there's no extra water, the water is going to help your sponge from absorbing it. We should do an entire video on just sponge use, honestly. Because so many people do it wrong. But concealer, I kind of pull through into a triangle shape. Do not do it the exact round shape of your eye or you're going to emphasize that exact round circle of your eye, okay? Especially if you use a color a little bit lighter like I just did. But do you see the difference? See how it brightened that up a lot? Look how like, oh, I look almost beat up a little bit on this side still. We're doing good over here. Okay. And again, we're not doing anything fancy. This is just everyday makeup, you guys. You don't have to wear a lot of makeup. You don't have to look, like, overly glamorous. Like I said, I live, like, in a little, like, country fishing beach town. I'm, I'm not trying to look fancy around here, but I am trying to look a little less dead. Okay? <laughs> That's the goal. Less dead. Mom life, less dead. Okay. So, voila, I feel like my skin, I got pretty, like, good tone and evenness with my blemishes. This baby right here, normally, I want to shake this because it, like, activates the water encapsulate. I have way too much. Ooh, maybe I can, like, knock some down, though. You're supposed to shake this first, but I've been scared to because I got way too much in the top of my thing be from traveling and stuff. But this is one of my favorite products just because it is a, it's a setting powder, but it has, but it's got encapsulated water, I don't know, encapsulated water particles or something. I'm not a scientist. I just use makeup. Um, but so it's a setting powder, but it's a powder to liquid. You know how there's all these like liquid to powders? Well, this one's a powder to liquid. And so when you put the powder on your skin, um, it's not going to dry all powdery and get in your creases because the encapsulated water will actually change it from powder to liquid. And when you put it on your skin, it's not going to have like powdery residue in your fine lines and wrinkles, which is amazing for the under eye. And this little what the fuck wrinkle, that's what I called this one. I don't know if I'm allowed to cuss on Instagram, but that's what I called this one. Some people call the, I feel like these are the laugh lines. This is the what the fuck wrinkle. Okay, so covering some of that up. So it's just some setting powder. You can use it over your whole face, but since I'm using a powder foundation, I'm still layering some more powder on there. So. This has been my go-to for the summer. Um, who knows? We'll see how long I use it into winter before my skin gets dry. And I want to use the serum um, foundation. Oh, here's my serum foundation. I was looking for it to show you when I brought it up before. But voila, this stuff is the bomb. If you want help with color matching, message me. I can totally help you with color matching. So let's see. So we are going to get some of that on there. So... The thing with powder foundation is it is buildable. You can wear it light. You can wear it thick. So what happens is if you use a big fluffy brush like this, 
it's probably going to go in a little bit more light because it's going to have more movement and it's going to be like a thinner layer over your skin just naturally by doing so. If you wear it, if you get a brush that's a lot thicker, it's going to go on a lot thicker. So powder is very versatile in that way, depending on the look you want. I like to use a big fluffy brush and just build it gradually until I get kind of the skin tone I'm looking for. And I do try to pull it through my hairline, my ears, under my neck, just to make everything look super natural. If I had a lower cut shirt, I would put it on my chest a little bit too, just to help blend it. But do you see... I, like I said, I do use one shade darker than my skin in this because I put it on lightly. Um, I feel like it gives me a nice sun glow without getting like out of, it's my same tone. So there's pink tones and there's yellow undertones, both. Okay. It's not all just light to dark. So if you need help color matching, please message me. It is so important. That is like my job and the purpose of finding a consultant with your makeup. Like people are like, oh, she's just trying to sell to me. That's not true. Like I'm not out to get you. I'm not going to spam you or message you. I'm very anti-spam, okay? But I am here when you need help for picking out things like your colors and making sure your foundation works well, how to use it. Like, I'm just like the makeup girl at the counter, but you don't have to go to the counter anymore. You can just, like, find me on Instagram and bam, here I am. I'll help you pick your color and everything. Um, <laughs> so, um, y'all, it is important to me to help you and get you the correct products. Make sure you love what you have. We have a love it guarantee. So you actually have 90 days with our products to try your products and exchange it. Um, you only have 14 if you want a full money back guarantee, um, which gives you plenty of time to try it and say, like, if you have a breakout, try it in that first 14 days, please, so that you can go, hey, I broke out. I want my money back. I'm never trying this again. You know, whatever. I'll help you get your money back. Um, but if you just want to try a different foundation, we have so many different types of foundation. It is ridiculous how many foundation types we have. So, um, I mean, we have serum, we have liquid, we have uh, BB creams, we have powders, we have stick, we have wax foundation, we have, like, we have all the different types for so many different purposes, okay? So, blush. These blushes are so cute. I really only have, have a couple blushes that I've gotten because I just love the colors that I got so much that I've never gone out of my box to try another blush color. So maybe that's a goal this year for me is try a new blush color because <laughs> I've been pretty stuck on these. I feel like I got my bright pink for summery and then my purple for like kind of more like wintry, mauve -y. I'm going to go into this color. This one's called Surreal. The uh, pink one was called Sisterly. It has a little bit of shimmer. And remember how I was like, oh, Okay, so I'm still moving my office. I'll be moving my office for some months now. It's nothing new. And I was like, let's see how long I can sit on the floor before my feet fall asleep. My feet are asleep and tangling right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to get up. Oh, my feet. I have to get the blood back in my feet. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to lean in, I guess, to do my brows so that my feet can get some blood flow to them, right? So this is our brow pencil. Love the new brow pencil. Took me a while to get in love with this guy. It's a different kind of brush. I actually still use my, um, br my this brush as well sometimes because I do still like a spoolie. But this brush actually works really well too. And it's nice because you can kind of smudge your color into your brows to where it blends really nicely as well. So um, the new brush is a little bit different than most people are used to seeing, but it still works fabulous. Brush your brows up first. Put your I put your brow liner in. Brush your brows down to get the top line. Brush it back up. We're gonna do it together, <laughs> okay? Brows are like my most important thing on my face, I feel like. If I could only do one thing on my entire face, it would be my brows, and you'll see why. Maybe you don't have the issue of having zero brows. Like, look how they're just, like, bald by the time they get over here. So, <laughs> brows are really important because they're going to frame your entire face. One thing I like about our new brow pencil is that they added a ton of colors. So, I used to not like the blonde because the blonde had too much red in it. So, if you are used to the old colors, the new ones are way different and 
have a lot more options. So there's actually now an auburn, which has the red in it, which makes it nice for those that are actually want that red hue. Um, and then this one's more of a taupey one. This is the blonde. This is actually the first blonde pencil that's been a real blonde color for me that I've ever tried from any brand. So I am super happy because I used to have to always use the just the light brown, I believe, to try to make it look as close as possible. So now you have, I think there's light, medium, and dark brown, and black, and blonde, and auburn. So I love that they've added all the different color varieties. That's one thing I've noticed about Unique is they've added a lot to their line to make sure that there are more options for more colors and tones. We have like 26 different colors of foundation. It's amazing. So love it. So brows, once you brush them up, you're just going to do little hair like flex here. And it's just going to help fill it in, find the gaps and try your darndest to follow your natural brow line because if you're drawing Notice how I'm doing little tiny flex. I'm not going because you're going to look like you have a line on your forehead. You don't want to look like it's drawn on. I know it was cool in the 90s, but some of the 90s stuff is coming back, but I am not letting you bring that brow trend back, okay? <laughs> All right, brushing it in. Little tiny flex. The more little flex movements you have, the more it'll look like hair. All right, and now I'm going to take this side and I'm going to brush my brows down instead of up because there's, see how it's still got some baldness? I know I refer to my brows as bald because they are kind of, but we're just going to fill that in. And then once you brush it back up, There we go. It's gonna like kind of cover the line. Then you can see again the bald spots that I missed. I like that the new pencil too is kind of waxy. So like as somebody who lives at the coast where like water is like a real thing in my life, um, <laughs> it's nice that my brows do not move. Like it rains here like crazy, like I like that my brows don't move. It has a slight waxy texture, which makes it so nice. Um, Cause yeah, they get, brows go flat too, just like your hair. So it's like hair products for your brows, I guess. I don't know. All right, same deal over here. Little tiny flex. And I know most people catch the replay, like not everybody sits and watches this live, although some of you do, so I appreciate you. But um, I know a lot of you watch the replay, brushing down now to get the top line. So what's cool about doing makeup on the replay is that you can literally rewind to check out the before and afters. Super easy. I feel like if you rewind this and fast forward it, you're going to see a huge difference in how my skin tone looks and how my eyebrows frame my face like this. I haven't done anything glamorous. Like I said, this is a super simple, easy, everyday makeup look like there's nothing crazy glamorous. Like I just look like an everyday person. I'm not like cake faced or anything like that but what it does is gives you that little bit of glow it gives you some even skin tone gives you some like framed face to work with it gives you some confidence and you don't have to have makeup to have confidence I know but I don't think it's any different than finding that new pair of earrings that give you that little boost of confidence or finding I need to like that new nail polish because your nails have been beat up all week um 
any of that sort of stuff. Let's see if I can sit on the floor a little bit again without my uh, feet falling asleep. I swear I'll have an office again someday, but I'm sure I could set up an area in the house temporarily, but I'm not doing it because I'm, I'm done moving my office. I told you this new one is going to be permanent and we're not moving it. So until then, I'm probably going to sit on the floor in my bedroom. So here I am. Let's see. So we don't really need to do much else. Um, let's do, let's show off the liquid eyeshadow because I'm obsessed with it. I have a couple different things that I do for eyeshadow. So this is my favorite palette. If you want a really easy palette with all your neutrals and everyday colors in it, that makes it super easy. I mean, look at this. It's got some pinks. It's got some gray browns. It's got like a nice highlight color, a light brown, a dark brown, a tan. It, some are shimmer, some are matte. So you have a nice combo of all the perfect shades like this palette number nine is money um it is a different formula than the old addiction palettes so if you didn't like how the old ones i'm just gonna say it they were kind of splotchy um they had great colors and beautiful shimmers and things but they were they were splotchy and didn't blend well this is a new formula it's more like our um the what do you call it the mag the little magnetic palette ones where you can customize the colors this one you can't customize the colors so that's the only thing but you can also do custom quads and things if you want to make a custom palette I love 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 the formula and those ones those ones have like primer built in and they're like gorgeous formulas we're just doing it a really quick easy everyday makeup look so I'm gonna show you how easy this liquid eyeshadow is because this is something people are afraid of and you shouldn't be because this is easier than the powders okay so this is the color reverent it's a the best starter color for all skin tones I don't care who you are what how dark or light your skin is doesn't matter this color looks good on everybody because it's just like a pearly champagne color that's a little bit sheer so it really does look good on everybody. So I'm just going to put a little bit right there to add a little pop of shimmer. I might not even do much more. Like, that's good enough, I feel like. Like, look at that. But it blends out so nice. And there's a crazy amount of colors. Look how it just brightened my eye and added a pop of color, but there's nothing crazy, like, because we're not getting glamorous today, right? Um... <laughs> But we do. We have tons of fun colors. These are two of the new ones. So you can do like bright, bold colors. Let's see. What else do we got? We got some cranberry. We got some white. The white? I don't know. Like, I'm pretty pale and I'm not very into the white. And I, I just think it's too white. Um, there's like a coppery. This one is actually probably my next favorite. Um, it's called Ornate and it has like this copper gold in it. And then this one's probably one of my next favorites too, Exalted. It's got a really nice like pink to it. There's a ton of really great colors. I don't, oh, this is the new one. This is the other new one, Authentic. This one's really nice for fall here because it has that like coppery orange shimmer in it, kind of. Gorgeous colors, but they all go on that easy, I swear. Like you just take, this is, like I said, this is like the starter color though. Get Reverent if you need just... If you're afraid of liquid and you want a nice starter color, this is the one. But you just dab it with your finger. You don't even need a brush. That's the beauty of this liquid. And it just blends perfectly. I love the liquid eyeshadow. I don't even know. Like, I was scared to use it. I was like, oh my gosh, liquid. Is it going to dry liquidy? No, it dries like skin like you won't even feel it it won't dry liquid it won't feel creamy um it dries to your skin and it stays all day and it's really easy it blends better than a powder it's it's freaking fabulous so highly recommend you try um we're gonna go ahead and do the dip and draw eyeliner shout out to caitlin she ordered some of the serum foundation and um, the dip and draw liquid eyeliner. This dip and draw liquid eye eyeliner is amazing. I'm gonna start doing my, um, thank yous and shout outs in my videos. Um, I feel like it's more personal and it's just, it's just the nice thing to do. Um, so thank you. I genuinely appreciate you because this is like my legit business. So you are legit to me. All right. So, I like this one because it's really hard to talk into eyeliner at once. 
But, um, okay, so liquid eyeliner is also often feared. But one thing I like about this is it's a dip and draw. So dip and draw is the best if you are nervous about making that straight line because it's more like a brush, okay? It's a it's like a little tiny paintbrush, and you can just, like, paint it on, and it's super easy. Um, the crayons are more smudgy, if you like something more smudgy. But these are nice because, so there's felt tip ones, and then, which we don't carry felt tip, thank goodness. Um, but, and then there's, like, the dip and draw, which is what we, which is what we carry. And it goes on so much smoother because it is. It's like painting. The, you can get as much or as little product as you want. As where a felt tip eyeliner is only good for as long as the tip is soaking up enough product to make it not skip. Have you ever noticed that the felt tips like skip so they're, it does, the line isn't as smooth. You have to have a ton of product on there to get it to work. Which also means you're throwing away your liquid eyeliner long before it was actually out. All right, so dip and draw. And you don't really have to wear eyeliner, but day to day I'd say I still do, just because I feel like um, it adds some definition to my eye to wear, um, I don't know, it just adds that extra definition. You can also get this in brown. So I, all of our blacks are called perfect and all of our browns are called proper. I probably wear the brown just as much as the black for everyday stuff. So I wear both. It just depends on how natural I want it to look. The black obviously doesn't look as natural on me as the brown because I do have more just like pink, brown, pale undertones, you know. So the black looks a little bit more dressy like makeup, which is totally fine. Um, but it's really the only thing kind of, uh, the other two, my lashes and my eyes, I feel like the eyeliner and the lashes are the only things I like to dress up and make pop. So my two mascaras I use the most often are the water, are, is the, <laughs> I can't speak anymore. Um, Moonstruck Epic Mascara Black Waterproof. So I like the waterproof one. Again, I live at the beach. I'm in the water a lot. Waterproof. I don't even need to explain it. Um, it's more of a regular mascara. It's really creamy. It goes on nice. It makes your eyelashes look amazing. Um, but it's the waterproof one is why I mostly like that one. This is my favorite one if you want that va va voom, the chunky monkey, like flirty lashes. Um, this one is the 40 fiber mascara. It has fibers in it. So this one does not have fibers in it. If you like something more natural looking, go for the epic. Um, we also have the twisted mascara, which is pretty cool because it has um, a little brush in it. I don't think I have one out anymore. I think I gave one of them to my daughter, but... I have a brand new one I should just open soon. But it's cool because it's just one tube of mascara, but it has two brushes in it. So you can use the regular mascara brush. And then there's this little tiny brush that you can also pull out of the same tube. And you can get those little tiny lashes. So the Twisted is pretty cool. It's a regular mascara as well, though. It does not have the fibers. So if you want the fibers and the chunky lashes, you want this 4D mascara. This is our most popular mascara. I feel like even if you go for natural looking makeup, like I do day to day mostly, um, the fun lashes are what's going to help you kind of like look girly and flirty and even with the no makeup makeup look, you know? I recommend most everybody try this mascara. And if you don't like it, you can exchange it. Remember, you have 90 days to trade it in for a different mascara. I should say less the shipping because when you do an exchange, they give you product credit in your back office to spend on something else. So if you spend over, oh, it's like a hundred and, I don't remember, I think 125 or 135 dollars is where you get free shipping. So, I mean, if you're spending on a bundle, you had free shipping anyways, so what's the difference? But 
I'd say $5 in shipping to make sure you get the product that you actually want is well worth it. And then once you exchange it and you know what you want, you never really have to do it again. So it's worth the process just to find the product that actually works for you. And then once you have it, you have it. You know, you're going to know what to reorder next time. So that's just one coat of the Fiber Mascara. It has amazing length. No mascara. 40 fiber. All right. So, and if you, you can actually build this to, because it has those fibers in it, you can build it in length and make it go longer and longer. So there's little tiny fibers in the mascara that are actually adding like little mini extensions on your lashes. Kind of, you know, it's not as extreme as a fake lash, but it's more extreme than a regular mascara because it has those in it and it like sticks to little fibers to your lashes. And as you pull it out, it's actually adding length to the very tips of your lashes. And it has this cool, like, chunky, funky brush, too, that helps it. Kind of have that, I don't know. Chunky appeal, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Uh, all right. And I think starting with this live, I'm going to post these on my YouTube as well. So if you are interested in following me on YouTube, find me over there as well. Although this is where it's going to be live. So if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching the replay on YouTube, go subscribe to my Instagram. If you want to watch me live every once in a while, because that is where I will do the actual live itself. And then I will repost over to YouTube. All right, so if you're going to do layers, go back to the other side after the first side has dried. Because if your mascara is not dry when you put the second coat on, it's not sticking to the end of anything. It's just blending into the other wet mascara. So it's just like paint, you know? You're not going to add another layer if you're putting wet paint on wet paint, you know? You gotta wait till the first layer dries and then put your second coat on and it'll add extra length. All right. Voila! And then day to day, I don't really wear much on my lips. I do sometimes, sometimes I will put on, this is probably my favorite lipstick if I am going to put a color on, as it's not even really a color, <laughs> but I love the Opulence Creamy Lipsticks just because they're like, they are, they're super hydrating, they last really nice. This one's called Well To Do, um, and it's a nude, so I don't even know if you count that as a color. So that's what well-to-do would look like if you wanted to wear a nude one. But most days, day to day, my right foot's asleep again. Oh, my foot. All right. Most days, this is what I wear. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I have multiple of them floating around now because I keep them in my purse and then I don't have them for video because I take them around with me. They're like in my car. They're in my purse. They're... I love this stuff. You need this more than, well, I said that before about the brow pencil and then the mascara. I don't know. <laughs> there's like a top five in there, okay? Actually, there's a bunch of products I like. Obviously, I'm showing you in this video my day-to-day -day stuff, so it's probably what I wear the most and what I like the most in this video. So, hottie, hottie lip plumper. This stuff is great. It just like goes on like a pink shimmer. I'm not even pink. It's like clear with a very hint of pink. So it's not like overly bubblegum pink or anything. Don't be offended by extreme pink or something. My right foot's still asleep. Um, <laughs> but it's pretty clear. It's pretty clear. Um, even though it has a slight hint of pink. But it's a lip plumper. So you can wear it with stuff, obviously.
before because I feel like it's dramatic, even though it's simple. Uh, so lots of great products. Message me if you need help picking anything, and I will go live again soon. Ta-ta! Love you guys!